you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video is going to be slightly different. We're going to be doing a point of view drive in my Mark 6 Fiesta. As you can see it's modified quite a bit. We're going to quickly run down all the mods that are done to the car. So if you want to do any of the mods yourself you know exactly what's been done to this car and you can also hear it yourself when we go and put the GoPro on. So yeah this is also a filler video. I have been editing a car meet video. It's taken quite a bit because literally every car in this video was either doing a burnout, messing about or whatever and I've had to blur it. So it's taken me quite a bit of time and I've also wanted to film this video quite a bit but I just really haven't got around to doing it. I also need to take the MX-5 and do this as well because the MX-5, you can actually hear that now. I've got an exhaust on that car. So kicking it off, we're going to talk about the alloys. I'm currently running Japan Racing's JR15s. These are 15 inch. I'm running 195 on the front and 215s on the back. The back is quite a lot wider and I also need to lower the car a lot more. The car is currently on AP coilovers. We are also running sequential indicators. We've got Halo Angel Eye headlights, which the beam pattern at night is not very good. So if you are thinking about getting them, they do look sick, but the beam pattern at night is not very good. You might have to upgrade the bulbs because the bulbs that come with them are terrible. We've also got the ZTEC S badge, which is just there. I think that looks sick. Next up, we have the Shutter Gang Sunstrip. It's ripped quite a bit, as you can see. I do have one at home. I need to change it quite a bit. I also haven't cleaned the car, so just ignore that up there and also ignore the door. I haven't got around to cleaning it. It hasn't been washed in quite a bit. So the car is absolutely filthy from the UK roads. Tinted back windows. We are also running a diffuser on the back, which looks absolutely sick. We got a Hornet straight pipe exhaust. This is a cat back exhaust, so it's fully legal for MOT. It looks absolutely sick. We got a wiper delete. Also my YouTube sticker and killer wipers now. And also a 3D plate. I forgot about that. We also got LEDs all around as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the exterior. This car is not modified that much. Now running to the back, I also got my OE Audio twin subwoofer. To be fair, I forget I have it. I never even go into my boot, but yeah, I have the subwoofer in the back. It weighs quite a bit. So now going into the car, pretty much it's dirty. Other than that, it's pretty much standard in here. We got a gear knob, stereo, a little dash cam, and also I do have custom, custom floor mats, as you can see down there. This car needs a clean. It's absolutely dirty. I am sorry. Oh yeah, and also the Omex is just here. This is the button you use to make it pop and bang. And the Omex is somewhere tucked down there. And that is pretty much the interior of the car. So I just want to mention that if I sound tired, if I look tired, I've been up since 3am, I'm absolutely shattered, I've been at work, so uh, yeah, just to let you all know, so speed limit here is going up to 70, you can hear it, we're now in 4th gear, we change about now, it's about 75 on the dial, which is about 80 miles an hour, which is about 70 I mean, not 80, see I'm so tired, I'm just messing up, yeah it's a nice winter's day, it's nice and sunny, but it's just absolutely freezing outside, I'll show you the Omex in a minute because I know a lot of people want to see the Omex. So uh, let's overtake this, this lorry in a second. Just once again, I want to mention that I don't speed in any of my videos. So if you're expecting me to go like 100 miles an hour, it's not the right channel for you or not the right video because I don't ever speed. I'm like the old granny when it comes to convoying with people. I still be five minutes down the road when them lot have arrived at a location. Like it takes me absolutely ages to get there. But yeah, let's let's get some sound. So, oh, it's a bit windy. So we press this button down here. Basically, I think it causes a misfire to the car. So I don't really use it much. As you can see, there's no houses around. But yeah, let's just do it quick. Yeah, it's, it's quite loud. I don't use it that much, but there you go. This car does handle nicely though. The only problem is it it's, I need more camber because if you see the car, post a picture on the screen now, there's a little bit of camber, but it's not enough. If there's a certain dip in the road or something, the car will hit the arches on the front wheels. So I need to get it done ASAP. It's just, I really haven't had the time to. It's just, I need to do it to be fair. And also I need a steering wheel. I've got one in my Mazda, it's absolutely lovely, I just need another one. It does feel nice driving this car though. I need some fuel in my Mazda, that's the only problem. I haven't got no fuel in it, so I refuse to fill it up at the moment. While this has still got a little bit less than half a tank. Right, we're going to go left. 
I don't know what's left, but we're going left. <laughs> oh, there is quite a bit of traffic. It's a motorbike. There we go, we'll give you some room, mate. So it's still 60 down here. Oh, VXR there. I was gonna get one at some point. Oh my God, what are you doing? Oh my God. See, the problem is I don't really know where I'm going. So we're just, we're freestyling this. I'm gonna go straight on. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I've said it before in my last point of views, but a lot of people say, doesn't the Hornet exhaust give you a headache? And simply the answer is no. And I know the Hornet exhaust gets bad reviews and I say it time and time again. It's your car, if you want the exhaust, get it. It's very loud. I start work at 4 a.m. in the morning, so, you know, I'm starting this car at 3.30 in the morning and, you know, it's fine. I, I don't let it warm up, I admit, but I drive down the road, so like my neighbors, you know, because I know they're annoyed at me for these loud cars, especially because there's three now at my, on my drive. We've got the Fiesta, my MX-5, and also the Mark 1 MX-5. So yeah, there's three literally cat-back cat -back cars at my house. So uh, they do get quite annoyed, I would say. But yeah, this Hornet exhaust is absolutely mint. I've had it on for about a year now. I've never been pulled over. The exhaust is absolutely sick. Let's touch wood. Well, that's not even wood. Let's, let's touch a steering wheel that we don't get pulled today because I mean, it'd make a banging thumbnail and tile, that's for sure. Right, the problem is, is, yeah, I don't know where I am. Um, um, we're gonna go straight. I don't know where I'm going, I have no idea. Yeah, the Hornet exhaust is absolutely mint. It doesn't give me a headache, it doesn't drone that much. I'm used to it, so yeah, it doesn't bother me. I know you've probably seen the engine light, but just ignore that, there's, there's don't worry, the car's absolutely fine. I've also got one wind deflector. You see here, there's a wind deflector that side. You see that side, there's not a wind deflector. I, I lost it down the M25, it fell off. I opened my window and yeah, it was gone. So the speed limit's now 50. I still have no idea where I am. We're just gonna keep driving, freestyling it. Let's put it in neutral for the dog. There you go, he appreciate that. There you go, back and forth. It's actually been a while since I've taken it down country roads. It's actually been a long time. I have missed it, I can't lie. All right, 40 miles an hour now. Still have absolutely no idea where I am, but that looks like a nice little house there. Also, I want to mention thank you so much for 10 and a half thousand subscribers. When I last done my point of view drive, I said thank you so much. I think it was for either 5,000 or 6,000. And for me to hit 10 and a half thousand exactly a year later is just absolutely mad. So thank you so much for all the support. I read all the comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. I see your names commenting every single video so just thank you so much it's absolutely mad and also like people i'm posting to instagram of this car so if you want to go follow the build it'll be on instagram but like i post every day on instagram whether it's my car the mx5 the mark one pictures that i go to like of these car meets i'm posting all the time so if you want to go follow my instagram it'll be on the screen it's much appreciated but yeah it's just honestly all the support i get through instagram youtube it's absolutely crazy. I never thought I'd ever have anything like this. So I just want to say thank you. But yeah, let's just get back to the video, man. It's absolutely sick. Oh, right, there we go. It's 50, not much difference, but. Oh, the car does, does sound good. These are some nice roads, to be fair. Having no idea where I am is, is quite nice. Oh, I'm approaching Hook. It does sound good, man. This exhaust has a good tone to it. I also forgot to mention, this car's a 1.6. It's running 99 brake horsepower. So yeah, it's not much at all. But yeah, I've, I've owned this car now for about two years and I have enjoyed owning it. It's been quite fun to be fair. There's a tunnel here, so we're gonna go through the tunnel. 
I'm not gonna pop and bang it because there are people around, there's cars around, so I don't really wanna make a scene. So all I'm gonna do is downshift and we drive through the tunnel because the, the bangs are literally like gunshot. And to be fair, there is, there's houses nearby, so to do it, it's just a bit unfair. So we're going to second. So we're going to go on the M3 towards Basingstoke. We may as well, right? I haven't done this in the video yet, so put the window up. Get up to speed. It sucks that this car's only a five speed. If it's a six speed, it wouldn't be as loud on the inside. Yep, we're good. We can go on. Right, we're doing some motorway driving. I didn't think I was going to go on the motorway in this video, to be fair, but I don't really know where I'm going. So if we just hop on the motorway, we could just take a straight road and find some other random roads on the way. She liked the car. She was looking. An old woman was looking at the Fiesta. I was about to say a Mustang for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, she was staring. If anyone has any ideas what we should do next to the car, let me know in the comments. My plans is to add more camber, lower the coilovers a little bit more, and pretty much i don't know what else to do so leave it down in the comments down below what should we do to this car and also the mazda if you want to see what the mazda looks like i'll put a picture on the screen now and you lot can give me ideas and i may do them may do a video on it who knows but yeah i want to do more stuff to the fiesta i, I do enjoy driving this car I enjoy driving the mazda so to do more modifications now that i'm like declared and i can do pretty much any modifications that i can you know i can pretty much do anything i want to both cars so let me know in the comments it'd be much appreciated and uh we may get around to doing it it's almost the same color as mine it's gray mark 7 okay then no indication whatsoever Saturday drive. Oh, what am I doing? They're on a nice Saturday drive, just enjoying the cars and nice sunshine out here. So we've seen an MR2, a nice old BMW, and also that car that we just see. Pretty cool. I've got to remember where these roads are because this is such a nice drive. In the MX5, it would be wicked with the roof down. Oh my God, look at that. There's another spot. If someone knows what that car is in the comments, let me know. <laughs> That's like four cars have spotted so far. So we're back. The GoPro literally died on this roundabout as I pointed out that very long car that I just spotted. So we're now gonna head back to Reading Gate and pretty much end off the video. I don't know my way back, so I've got the sat nav on. So uh, yeah, let's, let's somehow make our way back home now. So I don't know these roads at all, so. I'm going to go quite slow, to be fair. Oh, this is some really nice roads down here. Ashfield Hill Road. Got some nice roads. I'm not 
not going down that road. That's where it's telling me to go. I'm gonna search a different, a different route. Beware, noisy barking dog. <laughs> How random. We're now back at the location where I started this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. This was a point of view drive over in my Mark 6 Fiesta. If there's any more modifications that I should do to this car or the MX-5, please be sure to leave it down in the comments because I'm declared to do whatever modifications I want to. So yeah, I'm intrigued to hear your ideas and what I should do. It's much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe. And also if you're not following my Instagram, it'll be on the screen now. That'd also be much appreciated. But yeah, I will catch you all in my next video. Peace out.